Okay, hear me out. Bootlegs and knockoffs have a place in the world for many reasons. Maybe certain countries can't stock authentic products due to licensing agreements. Maybe parents don't have the money to pay the extortionate prices that some authentic items command. Or maybe the bootleg item's better than the original simply because it fixes a problem. Case in point, I have a Game Boy Color in this GB Color from AliExpress. The knockoff may not be as pretty and the aspect ratio might be slightly off, but it supports real cartridges and it has a backlit screen. I could pay someone to mod my original Game Boy Color of course, but that would cost me way more than just buying the bootleg. Plus, I can keep my original as it was intended to be. Now, that doesn't mean that all bootlegs and knockoffs are created equal, oh no. There's levels of effort that go into creating fake products. If something's popular, then you can pretty much guarantee that someone's gonna try to rip it off, copy it, or capitalize off an idea or property that isn't theirs. But admittedly, sometimes the final results can be absolutely hilarious. So strap yourselves in as we take a look at some of the worst bootleg wrestling merchandise that was actually sold in stores and online. Before we take a look at the bootlegs, we should also keep in mind that real, authentic products can also be extremely questionable. There was a lot of absolutely hilarious and ridiculous stuff sold by the WWE, WCW, other organizations and wrestlers that'll make you wish you had some bootleg merchandise instead. Let's take a look at some of these products before we begin. Here's that Sin Cara t-shirt that was quickly pulled from WWE Shop, I don't need to explain why. And keeping with the theme here, how about AJ Styles in his officially licensed TNA Splood shirt? Someone gave this a big old thumbs up and even AJ modelled it for the TNA website. In 1991, the WWF released a Hulk Hogan camera that ruins every one of your photos by including a Hulk Hogan watermark. Although there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles camera that did the exact same thing, along with Where's Waldo. Makes Waldo a bit easier to find though, doesn't it? The WWE also released Garden Gnomes. One set was for CM Punk and there's another for John Cena. So if you want everyone in your neighborhood to know how much of a virgin you are, then you could always plop these out on your front lawn. A $50 hornswoggle ring, not even joking. They had WWE title belt rings that weren't a terrible idea I guess, but they look cheap and tacky. So the obvious next step for sales to skyrocket is to put hornswoggle on a ring. The Danbury Mint WWE porcelain dolls are just scary, truly, truly terrifying stuff. But on the flip side, these eye masks from New Japan Pro Wrestling are absolutely hilarious. Speaking of New Japan, they once sold the NJPW Pectoral Encyclopedia, complete with close-ups of Kota Ibushi's sexy chest and tips on how you can get pecs like your favourite Japanese superstars. The questions I have are just too many. WCW brought out some questionable merchandise too, check out these soft foam head boppers. That's right, pay money and get the opportunity to punch Sting's decapitated head or you can use Sting's head to hit your friends. If you'd prefer to just be the Stinger then you could get this face painting kit but it looks like the paint's causing Sting a lot of problems, look at that face. And then we have the action figures. We're gonna see a lot of bootleg action figures in this video but officially licensed figures have been released that actually make the bootlegs look good. Look at this Mark Merrow and Sable double pack. Look at it, it should be renamed the Get My Drug Addicted Husband Away From Me starter pack. How about pudgy Eddie Guerrero from the classic Superstar series? They forgot to add detail to his midsection and it looks like Latino Heat could do with hitting the gym. For some reason, malnourished Ahmed Johnson looks like he really needs to take a dump but I've no idea what these accessories are all about either. A chainsaw, a club, a knife and a grenade? Uh, what is this? From the same lineup, this brand Pullman's absolutely terrifying and they didn't mess around here when it came to the accessories. Here's a knife and a rifle, Mr. Loose Cannon, don't do anything too crazy. These figures are from the Stomp series and series 2 was themed around aquatic adventures, I'm not joking. Look at the state of this Owen Hart. How about Underwater Undertaker complete with a lobster claw? If you're a WCW fan you can buy some vibrating action figures, Hollywood Hogan will give you a good shake. If you're feeling a bit more frisky you could go with the giant, know what I'm saying? Or if you need to cover all bases you could get tag teamed. Thank you. 
Right, now that we know that there's some hilariously bad official products out there, let's move on to the wacky world of bootlegs. First, t-shirts. T-shirts are the main items sold at wrestling shows and some shirts have become synonymous with certain wrestlers and factions. Obvious mentions going out here to Austin 316 and the NWO. When it comes to bootleggers, you'll find two different categories for t-shirts. The ones that could fool people into thinking they're legitimate and the ones where the creators just didn't care. Take this Roman Reigns bootleg for example. Yeah, good job mate. A Reddit user named Nicky the Food thought he was buying a Seth Rollins shirt only to have a Sami Zayn design also included on the back. We even get a printed NXT tag here just for extra authenticity. And how about this one? Who could forget the classic battle between The Undertaker and The Big Show in Extreme Championship Wrestling? That showdown was so good that it deserved its own t-shirt. This John Cena shirt's a personal favourite. Respect, hustle, loyalty. Put together in paint in around 20 seconds. The absolute state of it. But if you think that's bad, imagine letting your girlfriend leave the house in a John Zena dress. The meme isn't even that funny. How about this piece of shit right here? A fake John Cena shirt featuring John Cena wearing a real shirt. Cena's looking at you as if to say, yeah, you really should have bought this one. Moving on, we've got Brett Screwed Brett, complete with Canadian flag and screw. Why the WWF didn't sell these after Survivor Series 97, I'll never know. Or maybe you're a fan of the game, The Undertaker. Both the ministry version of the game, Undertaker, and the American badass game, Undertaker. He's that damn good. Here's Stone Cold 2000, have a nice millennium, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold 2000 said so. Or how about this Indonesian Stone Cold shirt, 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 2-2, two two. Uh, apparently this is from 2021 so clearly we haven't moved on from selling absolute dog shit but gotta admit the skeleton design isn't horrible. We want CM Punk. No we don't. A Hulk Hogan collage t-shirt can be yours for the low low price of $25. The creator would probably tell you that the bad cropping around the photos was an artistic choice but no, that's just lazy right there. I do want someone to buy this and send me photos though because it's one of the most ridiculous shirts I've ever seen in my life. Look at this, I think every young boy who lived in Texas knew who Jose Lothario was. That makes Jose sound like some sort of predator. Why is this on a shirt? Did mothers tell their young boys, stay away from that Jose Lothario, he's a bad one? Sticking with the heartbreak kid, look at this. I've been good looking since I was 12. Punishing effectiveness, I'm not your boy toy. Heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels has left the building. Dynamic, to the mat, punch for punch, speed and style, God's gift to Wom. Hall of Fame, question mark. Michaels is in a whole different category, and the person who designed this shirt's on a whole different planet. Okay, it's time for the main event, the action figures. Shout out to the wrestling figure database by the way, my knowledge around wrestling figures is minimal at best and it's not an area of pro wrestling that I'm very familiar with, but these guys have information on nearly 17,000 figures and toys, so the site has been a great resource for this video. Here is a Way Out Wrestlers wrestling ring, manufactured in China. Do you know who these wrestlers are supposed to be? Well, that's Ric Flair, not a terrible effort. And that is the Ultimate Warrior, a terrible effort. They also released this 2-pack, this is supposed to be Bret Hart, Bret Hart with a misaligned neck. And who do you think this is? That, that's Owen Hart, yeah that's the King of Hearts alright. A company named Sungold brought these monstrosities to the market and look at the Ultimate Warrior figures. It makes you feel both sad and terrified at the exact same time. Here's the Wrestling Champions line, featuring a dodgy Hulk Hogan backing card and even worse action figures. Hollywood Hogan has a tiny head and he's part of the OGO, not the NWO. What, you've never heard of the OGO before? It's a, a offensive giant ostrich. These horrible people also brought out a Sting figure complete with Shawn Michaels tights and a lack of face paint. Mime Sting. And check out Lex Luger with his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pack. The total package indeed. 
The IWC figure line, that's International Wrestling Champions and not figures of your favourite people on Twitter and YouTube or whatever, here's their take on Big Daddy Cool Diesel, his attire's pointing that away for some reason. And there's a <laughs> there's Hulk Hogan, Hollywood rules. Adam Bomb got his own knockoff figure too because nothing's off limits. And here's the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, he thinks he's cute and he knows he's sexy. Here's another heartbreak kid that you could buy for a dollar, it's chunky Roblox Shawn Michaels. Not so cute and not so sexy. That backing card's pretty interesting too, scary stone cold giving a stunner to some guy who just wants to tenderly hold Steve Austin in his arms. From the same lineup we've got Chunky Razor Ramon, he has a Z on his trunks so it's Zazer Zamon. Wrestle King presents John Cena, complete with world championship, weights and a bad chest that Cena really should get checked out. These boys also brought this Triple H right here to the masses, he's got on Shawn Michaels DX pants, he's got an awful chest tattoo, he's got a black handlebar moustache and silver hair. Uh, imagine asking for Triple H and your mom puts this nightmare right in front of you, you'd cry for a whole day, why does he look so happy? I can't imagine Rico action figures were in high demand but here we are. He's got that same wound as John Cena, maybe they were attacked by a knockoff Wolverine action figure. And look, look at the Triple H and Rey Mysterio double pack, Wrestle Warrior new type F puzzle. A, de <laughs> a definite improvement in regards to the action figures but it looks like Triple H just caught Stephanie in bed with someone else. Why does he look like this? Why does he look like this? Also, why are the weapons so big? That wrench is nearly the same size as the action figures. Check out the back. Wrestle Warrior, become the champion. A picture from a Smackdown vs Raw video game I think. And Extreme Limit Challenger, collect the all classic superpower. What the f We have got a lot more action figures to look at like this guy right here, he's so embarrassed about this bootleg that he didn't want to show his face. How about an oversized Bill Goldberg to add to your toy collection? I'm not sure what's worse, the figure itself or this wacky photo they used for the artwork. This one looks more like Steve Austin but he's incredibly fed up being stuck in that box, he's just done, he's had enough. With this Buff Bagwell figure you can put on a brand new attire and play as someone completely different because hey sometimes you just don't want to play as Buff Bagwell, but look, the selling point, it glows in the dark, brilliant. These international wrestling figures seem to use the same moulds as the other Hasbro knockoffs because here's a Diesel and Razor Ramon double pack that looks the same as the ones we saw earlier. Twin Wrestler, Boxer Double, Doppelringer, Luchador Double. Here's another double pack, Adam Bomb and Chunky Michaels because when you think of Adam Bomb, you also think of Roblox HBK. A manufacturer named Ebonine almost caused national panic when they released these bad boys into the wild. If WrestleMania 6 took place in your local crack den, then these would have been accurate. I like how Hogan's missing a finger and he's almost lost his face completely. Top tier manufacturing right here, lads. Here are some of those minifigures and clearly it's supposed to be Ted DiBiase and the Bushwhackers. To cleverly avoid a lawsuit from the WWF, Ted DiBiase was renamed to Pat Crash, Luke was renamed to Lord Power, and Butch is named, wait for it, <laughs> Lucky Smile. <laughs> I've no idea who this bozo is supposed to be from the all pro wrestling lineup but that head doesn't belong on that body. It's a deal though, one dollar down from the extortionate price of one ninety nine. Also look at the big boot going on there in the background, it's absolutely beautiful. In the same lineup we have this inquisitive Hulk Hogan who seems really interested in what you have to say even though he can't look at you straight. Here's the Hulkster again from the International Wrestling Championship Jan figure collection and hey this isn't too bad. But take a look at the Iron Sheik, he's so depressed that Hulk Hogan's on his box, he wants to break Hogan's back and make him humble but he just can't do it. The Stinger also got one of these Jan figures and again it doesn't look terrible. What I find funny though is the fact that Sting actually autographed this thing at one point or another and you just know he said to himself, what the hell is this? The Ultimate Warrior didn't fare so well, the photo's a bit blurry but you can see here that he has a little moustache going on. And for some reason, Ivan Drago also got a figure in this series. 
Look at the back of the box, it's Hulk Hogan vs Generic Russian number 2. This art is on the back of every box, even those that don't feature Drago or Hulk Hogan. And Hogan just used his creative control clause here and that's why Generic Russian number 2 looks so baffled. Here's Mick Foley and it's raining belts, even upside down belts. The figure itself isn't a bad ripoff, but the card they used is a questionable choice for sure. How about a silver shirt gangrel, a ripoff of the Titantron Live series that seems to use a picture of just incredible, I think. This right here, this Wrestle King 6 figure, is weird. It comes with a default creator wrestler character along with a wooden chainsaw, a crutch and a giant centipede. What he's gonna do with that centipede I have no idea. Maybe something to do with par superior wrestle, uh, light, impact. From the same Wrestle King lineup, here's Bobby Lashley. Y yeah, Bobby Lashley. And look at the top of the card. Hard Maniac Bellow. W what does that mean? Surely they didn't mess up the Snitsky and Kane 2 pack and uh, yeah, yeah they did. I am so confused right now. Here's some of those thumb wrestlers or finger wrestlers if you want to be dirty about it. Hulk Hogan and Big Scott Hall or maybe Hulk Hogan and Ron Jeremy. This mini wrestling ring looks like a bunch of junk thrown in a box with rip off mini wrestlers but no, this is Overlord Power Ring. Yell. <laughs> wow. And look at the stuff you get inside. An ash cart, another ash cart, a chair, a suitcase, a table, a ladder, a garbage can, not an ash cart, that's a garbage can folks, a shopping cart, a give first aid a bed, ring sioe table, another ladder, complete arena equals arena plus arena iron rail plus arena rope plus turnbuckles and steel steps I guess. Nightmare, a absolute nightmare. Are you having fun yet? Honestly, I could go on for hours, but I'm just going to show a few more before wrapping the video up. Super champs, super champs like Hulk Hogan, Big John Studd, apparently, J <laughs> Jimmy Snuka, <laughs> and Andre the Giant. <laughs> oh, Andre. Also, what's going on in the background card? It looks like John Studd's trying to pick up his weed and Hogan's stopping him from doing so. The Magnificent Wrestler line features some of your favourite lucha stars such as Mel Mascaris, Rey Mysterio and Conan. K-Dog's looking a little worried here it seems and I don't blame him either. There's also a Magnificent Series Ultimo Dragon that has belly flab hanging over the World Championship. Here's some WCW bootlegs that for some reason has this Fabio looking motherfucker on the card, no idea why. We've got Chris Benoit and DDP. DDP reminds me of Judge Doom from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. We've got Ric Flair and Steve McMichael where McMichael's replaced his six pack with one made of solid steel. We also get bonus step ladders too which is just the icing on the cake here really. This abomination supposed to be Dean Malenko while this other dude supposed to be Scotty Stanner. And then we've got Lex Luger and Sting. I've no idea what's going on and I assume there was some serious malfunction in the production factory or something. They look like they've been created with one of those bog standard AI websites. Wrestling Champions presents Just Got Home From The Bar Hulk Hogan along with the dude he picked up from said bar. What you gonna do brother? What you gonna do? The boys also brought out this figure. This is the morning after when Hulk realises what he just did. And in the same lineup we've got Sagat from Street Fighter. Dream matches are now a possibility thanks to China's Wrestling Champions action figures. Wrestling Federation Federation to Catch features a hilarious and scary picture of Chris Benoit along with different knockoff figures including Lance Storm, Sandman and Axel Rotten. They also brought out a Jerry Lynn figure with highly collectible Dean Malenko and Kurt Angle trading cards. Fligged fl fl Club. Seriously though, that Chris Benoit picture is going to haunt me for a very long time. Check out the Flex Force Ultimate Warrior Power Fighting Hero Double Pack, toy model of a virtual reality. That's Edge right there and beside him is a deeply concerned Dave Batista. How about this guy? Do you know who this is supposed to be? That, my friends, is Chris Jericho. Even he doesn't know who he's supposed to be. 
Here's the big boss man all the way from Cobb County, Korea. The box has pictures of Dusty Rhodes, Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior for no reason at all. And here are some WWF Hasbro knockoffs that were sold in Spain, made completely from rubber. Because they are made of rubber, the colours have started to disappear or deteriorate and it gives some horrific and hilarious results. The Million Dollar Man's now the 25 Cent Man as he begs for money outside wrestling venues. Andre the Jan took one too many leg drops from Hulk Hogan. The only cutting Brutus Beefcake needs to do right now is on that giant unibrow that he's sporting. And look, the Big Boss Man's the only one serving hard time around here, that poor poor man. Finally, let's wrap it up with something that's so out there that it makes you wonder how and why it ever got released in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the World Wrestling Enterprises bootleg Hulk Hogan fighting puppet from Tampa, Florida, though that's very questionable indeed. A Hulk Hogan puppet, brothers. Now you can be the one pulling the strings and you can have your very own locker room adventures with the Hulkster. So many questions. So, so many questions. There's literally thousands more of these action figures on the figure database and it would take forever to look at them all. But even at that, there must be more out in the wild that haven't been documented online. So look through your old toys in the attic and if you find something ridiculous, make sure to post it. These things always give me a good laugh. Thanks for watching guys and please take care.